Hello everyone, welcome to Urbanscape Bangalore and in this episode for a change, we will look at a cactus I love. The thimble cactus or the Mammillaria gracilis fragilis. This belongs to the Mammillaria genera, which has many variety of cactuses, which has found a place in the hearts and homes of our fledgling garden community. It is called the Mammillaria because it resembles the mammary glands. So in this episode, we will repot the plant, propagate it and look at some important care tips. And also, don't go anywhere. Towards the end of this video, I will be unboxing something very interesting. So one thing I love about this cacti is that it's very easy to handle. The thorns are not pointy but grow radially like this. This does flower during the summer or spring months once it becomes mature enough. And the best part about this plant is that it gives out so many pups or offsets that it almost looks like pimples that you don't want to cure. Now for the repotting, take an appropriately sized container of your choice and cover the holes as usual with a small broken pot piece. For the potting mix, you can use an equal mix of sand and compost. Remove the plant and place it in the center and backfill. Now, just to accentuate the white spikes and the green stem, I will be top dressing this with some crushed fine gravel, which you can get in your local aquarium shops. After that, spray water. To my surprise, I found this beautiful red worm in the old container and don't worry, it will be going into this new container as well. Keep this in a semi-shaded place or even indoors where you get bright indirect sunlight, preferably the south or the west direction. So I must share this with you that during my recent illness, I was not watering this and unfortunately it got overwatered and the plant from the insides rotted. But fortunately, I have saved some pups and they are growing roots and making me really happy. Now let's look at the propagation. It's very easy. Just remove these tiny tots and make sure you place the baboon's bottom shaped side on the ground. You don't have to place this deep inside the soil, just make sure that it touches the soil. In a matter of three weeks or so, you will find roots forming and I would advise you to let this grow big and then transplant it. While propagating, make sure you don't immediately add water once you place it on the potting medium. Water it maybe after two or three days to avoid rotting. So now let us look at some quick tips. Sunlight. So this likes part sun to full sun conditions but don't place it in areas where it is exposed to rain most of the time. Watering. Water only when the soil dries. There is a reason why this plant is all plumped up. It has water already stored in it and feeding water to water will only result in a flood. So even if you forget to water this for a few days, it is okay. Fertilizer. Most cactuses grow in poor soil, so there is no need to fertilize this plant at all. Potting mix. It must be well draining. If you don't find sand, you can use the cactus mix that you may get on Amazon. Blooming. To make this bloom, you need bright sunlight and it must experience drought like conditions. So cut down on the watering, especially during the winter months. So folks, bring this tiny cactus home. If not for its blooms, then at least for these small clumps of goodness. So now let us look at a small unboxing and I'm doing this only because I was so impressed by that packing and I got these products without a scratch. Also, I'm really happy with the quality of their products. So sit back and enjoy this unboxing. Just that you know, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. The links are given below. Thank you for watching and until we meet again, a very warm goodbye.